I'm Ben from Cambridge Audio. We're known for making a great range of hi-fi products, including the awesome CX series. I'm here today to tell you about asynchronous USB. USB audio is an audio connection which is used to send digital music from a computer to a DAC. You might have heard the term asynchronous USB, but what does this actually mean? To understand what asynchronous USB means, we first need to learn a little bit about USB audio transfer. The computer and USB DAC both have their own clock. This is like a built-in metronome which dictates the timing for both devices. But of course, these two clocks may not be running exactly in time with each other, which is one of the problems with USB audio transfer. Digital music is sent as USB packets from the computer down the USB cable to the DAC. These packets are sent in periodic time frames according to the computer's clock. There are three types of USB audio DAC, synchronous, adaptive and asynchronous. Synchronous is the lowest quality method of USB audio transfer. Synchronous USB DACs accept the packets of data whenever the computer sends them. This can cause a glitch every few seconds as the difference between the two clocks mounts up. This is the simplest method of implementing USB audio, but because of the glitches induced in the audio, it's only used in very low-end products. We do not use synchronous USB transfer in any of our DACs. Just like synchronous USB DACs, adaptive DACs accept packets of data from the computer, but they adjust their own clock to match that of the computer to prevent the glitches building up. This keeps the two clocks in time with each other and prevents glitches in the audio. But because the DAC is having to constantly adjust its clock, it means that there is no continuous accurate master clock in the DAC. This in turn creates jitter or digital distortion in the audio stream. Adaptive USB DACs are a big improvement over synchronous DACs, but still not as good as asynchronous. We used adaptive USB audio transfer in the original DAC Magic and in the 351A and 651A amplifiers. In synchronous and adaptive USB, the computer dictates the timing of the data packets being sent. With asynchronous USB, it's the other way around. The asynchronous DAC requests the computer to send the packets in time with the DAC's own master clock preventing any of the disadvantages of synchronous and adaptive USB. This means that asynchronous USB is the most complex to implement, but because it has the lowest jitter, it sounds by far the best. That's why we use asynchronous in all of our current DACs, including the CX series, 851 series, and the latest DAC Magic range.